Imagine the time when television was in its infancy, a flickering screen in a cozy living room, and the world had just begun to embrace the magic of moving images. It was the 1950s, and amidst the grainy black and white broadcasts, one show stood out like a beacon of laughter and charm, the George Burns and Gracie Allen Show. Do you remember your first encounter with this timeless classic? Perhaps you were just a child, perched on the floor in front of the screen. Or maybe it was a cherished moment spent with your grandparents, who couldn't help but chuckle at the antics of this endearing husband and wife duo. The show was a sanctuary of wit and humor, a place where the everyday escapades of George and Gracie brought joy to countless households across the nation. It was a world where absurdity met reality, where George's straight-faced quips collided with Gracie's delightful confusion, leaving us in stitches with each passing episode. Now, as we journey back in time to revisit this beloved series, let's uncover some fascinating tidbits about the George Burns and Gracie Allen show. Join us as we unravel the secrets behind the laughter and get to know the remarkable personalities that graced our screens with their comedic brilliance. So, sit back, relax, and prepare to be transported to a bygone era of humor and heart, because we're about to dive into the captivating world of George Burns and Gracie Allen. The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show, a popular TV series in the 1950s, had some interesting production details. The bulk of the filmed episodes were shot in just one day using two cameras. Afterward, these episodes were edited and shown to a preview audience. Unlike the common practice of using canned laughter, the show recorded the live audience's reactions to capture genuine responses to the jokes. At the end of each preview screening, George and Gracie would appear live in front of the audience to film their famous Say Goodnight, Gracie closing scene. During the first two seasons, the show was performed live every two weeks. However, starting from the third season, it switched to a weekly filming schedule. Some scripts from the live seasons were modified and remade for the filmed episodes. A quirky fact related to the show is the misspelling of B. Benedict's last name as Benedict with two S. It initially occurred as a typo in the credits during the first show. However, B. decided to keep the misspelled name, considering it a good luck charm. In a few subsequent episodes, another blunder was made with the misspelling of her first name as B. These details offer insights into the behind-the-scenes aspects of the George Burns and Gracie Allen show, shedding light on its unique production process and a bit of on-set superstition. It's fascinating to see how a typo in the credits became a part of the show's history. When the series went off the air in 1958, it was the longest-running situation comedy in television history. The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show, which aired from 1950 to 1958, held the record for the longest-running sitcom on TV. This beloved show featured the comedic talents of George Burns and Gracie Allen, a married couple who played fictionalized versions of themselves. The show was known for its unique blend of humor and heart, with George playing the straight man to Gracie's endearing but often befuddling antics. One interesting aspect of the show was Gracie's character frequently donning aprons in the kitchen as a tribute to her real-life Aunt Clara, about whom she often told outrageous fictionalized tales. While Gracie's character may have been known for her quirky behavior, the show's enduring popularity was built on the chemistry between the two leads and the timeless humor that transcended generations. The series tackled various topics, from everyday family life to social issues, always with a comedic twist. It's worth noting that many, if not all, episodes of the early live seasons of the show are in the public domain. Among the 12 most common episodes to find are the Klebob card game, the property tax assessor, Harry Morton's private secretary, Grace's checking account, the income tax man, teenage girl spends the weekend, space patrol kids visit, Gracie gives a wedding, the Beverly Hills Uplift Society, surprise birthday party, divorce attorney, and free trip to Hawaii. At least four others have appeared on various public domain DVDs. In conclusion, the George Burns and Gracie Allen show left an indelible mark on television history, not only as the longest-running sitcom of its time, but also for its enduring charm and humor. Grace's apron-wearing antics in the kitchen added a unique touch to the show's character dynamics, making it a classic in the world of television comedy. Gracie Allen, known for her wit and charm, initially hesitated to enter the world of television in the 1940s. She was content with her showbiz career, but was convinced by her husband, George Burns, to take the leap. 
The result was the George Burns and Gracie Allen show, a beloved TV series of the 1950s. However, by the fifth season, Gracie had grown tired of the television grind. She was upset that George kept signing contracts for more seasons without her consent. During the eighth season, Gracie put her foot down and demanded her retirement. George, not ready to let go of the show, retained the cast for a short-lived spin-off, The George Burns Show, hoping that Gracie might change her mind. Regrettably, she didn't, marking the end of their iconic partnership on television. But there was more to Gracie than meets the eye. She meticulously decorated her television home, as it was loosely based on her real life. Her attention to detail added authenticity and charm to the show's set, making it feel like a real home to viewers. Behind the scenes, however, there was a hidden struggle. Although not publicized at the time, Gracie Allen had a heart condition. Tragically, on August 27, 1964, at the age of 69, Gracie succumbed to a fatal heart attack leaving behind a legacy of laughter and a mark on television history. In the world of entertainment, their partnership was legendary. George Burns and Gracie Allen brought humor and heart to millions of viewers, leaving an indelible imprint on the history of television. The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show, The Beverly Hills Uplift Society made history as the first episode to be broadcast nationally from coast to coast in the 1950s. Back then, television was still in its early stages, and there were no coaxial cables running across the entire country. This meant that viewers outside the immediate broadcast range had to wait for kinescopes of the new episodes to be shipped to their local affiliate stations. Gracie Allen, a prominent figure on the show, was often seen rolling cigarettes as part of her character. However, in reality, she was a non-smoker, showcasing her acting skills and portraying the habit. During the eight years the show was on the air, Gracie Allen never repeated an outfit. In some episodes, she even had up to three costume changes, demonstrating her commitment to her character's ever-evolving style. These unique aspects of the George Burns and Gracie Allen show added to its charm and popularity during its time on television, making it a memorable part of 1950s TV history. As we bid adieu to our journey through the captivating world of the George Burns and Gracie Allen Show, I invite you to take a moment and delve into the tapestry of your own memories and emotions connected to this timeless 1950s television series. This show, with its heartwarming humor and endearing characters, has left an indelible mark on the hearts of countless viewers over the years. Perhaps you recall the witty banter between George and Gracie, or the charming antics of their supporting cast. Maybe it's the nostalgia of a bygone era that resonates with you, or the simple joys of laughter and family that the show so beautifully portrayed. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts and cherished memories. Did this series bring laughter into your living room during a challenging time? Did it inspire you to embrace the quirks of your own family? Or did it simply make you smile on a quiet evening? We invite you to engage with fellow fans and enthusiasts, to reminisce, and to celebrate the enduring legacy of the George Burns and Gracie Allen Show. Your stories and insights add depth to the rich tapestry of appreciation for this classic gem. Thank you for joining us on this journey down memory lane and for sharing your personal connection with this remarkable series. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. With heartfelt gratitude, 